Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials, and welcome back to part two of our office chair videos. Okay, okay. So in part one, we modeled the chair and we textured it. In this video, we are going to rig the chair. Okay, and just to keep things clean, I got rid of my background and my lights, and I just applied the standard Lambert material, so it all looks a bit, you know, more clean. Okay. Now, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our outliner is clean. Okay, so we're going to go to Window, Outliner, and I'll move that over here. And what I did is I looked at the parts of the um, chair that will always move together. Okay, so if we look at the lower chair, this section will always move as one piece. Okay, so what I did is I selected all the parts and I went to mesh and combine. Okay, the backrest is one individual piece that is going to be able to move up and down, so that has its own name. Okay, and then the upper chair is the whole section that will move as one piece as well. Okay. So there's not going to be any individual components of this part that's going to move individually, all right? So now that we have all that, what we're going to do is we're going to start to group things, okay? Now our main group is going to be the entire chair, okay? So window outliner, we'll take the lower chair, the backrest, and the upper chair, and we're going to hit Control G to group. And that creates group number one. Okay, I'll double click on that and I'll call that entire chair. Okay, just so it's obvious. Okay, so if you go in here and you click on that, you've got everything. Okay, so what's next? Um, we are going to take just a backrest here, and what we'll do is we will make a separate group for that single item. Okay. So I'll hit Control G to group, and I'll just drag select that outside of, actually no, we're going to keep that inside of the chair here, and we'll call that backrest group. Okay, and that contains the backrest. All right, so what else? Um, this is going to be able to move up and down. The lower section of the chair so the, uh, well actually the upper chair, okay, and the backrest, these two need to be in a group together because when I rotate this, this should move as well, okay. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to shift select that and I'm going to hit Control G for a new group, double click, and I'll call it entire upper chair. All right, fine. So we pretty much have what we want. We have the backrest as a moving part. We have the entire top section of the chair that will be able to move up and down. We'll have the bottom part of the chair that we can rotate around. And we'll have a control to move the entire chair if we like. Okay. Now, next important thing is to make sure that we have the pivots in the right, in the right location. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with our lower chair section, okay? And you can see that the pivot is down here, it's on the floor, and it's centered. And we're going to check that from our top view as well, just to make sure that it's centered. And that looks to be okay. Nice. Okay, we're going to move to the next part. Let's see, we'll go with the entire upper chair. Let's see where our pivot point is on that one. Now, that pivot point is centered, but it should be a bit higher up, okay? So we're gonna hold down the D key, and let's bring that up to that shaft in the middle, okay? Let's check from our top view, it's centered, so that's fine. Okay, so these look to be okay. And then we're going to look at our backrests and see where the pivot point is on that one. Okay, here it's pretty much in the center of the backrest, that's fine. From this view, it's in the center, that's also fine. Okay, so we have uh, our 
um, parts and groups identified, we have our pivots in the right place. And now the next step is we are going to start to create controls to move our chair. All right. So we're going to go to create. We're going to go to nerds primitives and let's create a circle. I'm going to drag that out. I'm going to go to my top view and I'm going to snap that to the middle. I'll just uh, get in a bit closer. And there we go. All right. Now that's going to be the main control for our entire chair. So if we want to move the entire chair from one position to the other, that's how we're going to do that. All right. All right, guys. So we have a NURB circle created. Uh, and now what we're going to do in our outliner is we are going to first select the child in this relationship, which is the, um, the entire chair. And we're going to parent that to the NURB circle. Okay, so in your outliner, select entire chair, then you're going to shift select your nerve circle, and you're going to hit P on your keyboard to parent. So now, if you select this nerve circle and you move it, you're going to move your chair. And that's kind of the idea. All right, cool. All right, so what's next? Now, we want a control to rotate the upper part of our chair. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another NURBS circle. And you can you know, use any type of you know, um, NURBS figure that you want. But I'm just going to go with the circle. I'm going to move it to my center here. I have to zoom in. And I'm going to hit V to snap it. And there we go. And let's set it to the appropriate height so it kind of makes sense where we're at. Okay, so I want that to be parented with my entire upper chair. Okay, so first we need to um, make sure that we have our entire upper chair selected. That's all of that. Okay, and then we're going to shift select this nerve circle and we're going to hit P on our keyboard. So Right now, if we select this right here, and let's see, something went wrong there. Let's see what that is. Um, yeah, I know what that is. This uh, should be under there. Let's see if I'm right, yes. So when I move this, the entire chair moves fine. When I select this nerve circle and I hit E to rotate, I can rotate the top part of my chair. Okay. And what I just did is make sure that everything is still in the hierarchy. Okay. Now, the next thing that I want to be able to do is to move this section of the chair up and down. Okay. So let's create another control for that. So we'll go to create nerves primitives and um, let's see. Yeah, we'll do is we'll just uh, create another circle. And just to make it slightly different, I'm going to hit R. I'm just going to stretch that out and push that in somewhat. And then we'll hit E and we'll rotate that upwards. And let's make sure we're at minus 90 degrees. Let's move that towards the back of our chair. So where's our chair at? Over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to bring that in. I have to zoom in. And just make sure that that... <clears throat> Excuse me is somewhat in proportion. We're going to scale the whole thing down. I'm going to W and I'm going to bring that up like so. Okay. Now, in this case, we created a group, but the group only contains one object. And so we're going to go to Window Outliner. And uh, let's see, we're just going to open the entire hierarchy here so we can kind of see what's going on. 
So this is our backrest, okay? And, and that is the child in a relationship. We're gonna shift select this guy, and we're gonna hit P. That didn't go correctly. Let's try that again. Backrest, shift select that, and then hit P. So now if we select this, we can move this up and down, okay? Now, as you can see, this again has been pulled out of the total hierarchy. So we're going to middle mouse click and we're going to set this right there, if I'm not mistaken. And that should be it. So if we now take our large nerve circle at the bottom, which is the control for our entire chair, we can move our chair around. Control Z, Control Z to go back. If we take this circle, we can hit E, and we can kind of rotate, you know, the entire chair. And there is one issue, as you can see. We want to be able to rotate this, right, and not rotate it like that. Okay. Now there is a possibility to block that out. Okay, so you only have the option to rotate in this direction. I'll, uh, that's slightly more advanced, so I'll do that in future videos. But for now, this will allow you to just move it like so. Okay, so we're going to Control Z to go back, and if you want to move your backrest, you can just going to select this guy, hit W, and move that up and down. And that restriction, you can always apply that or also apply that to vertical movement. If you want to avoid being able to do this, for example, you can put a vertical restriction in there. But as a simple beginner's tutorial, I want to leave it at that. Um, so that's how you do a basic and simple parenting rig on a chair. Okay. So if you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.